Hello, and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, March 3rd, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi, and our energy mantra for today is, the revolution is, everything is always working out for me. And today, we have the second part of our Uranus day. We started Uranus energy late last evening, and we're moving through part of the day today with this Uranus energy. And Uranus energy is that revolution, evolution energy. It is the energy of liberation. It comes to take us out of those traps that hold us back from liberating and embracing our authentic vibration, our authentic beingness. And so Uranus days can kind of trigger us because a lot of us as humans get really comfortable in what we think is, in the physical reality that's right here. And meanwhile, we're calling in all this other stuff, but we're clinging to this physical reality. And the astro today is all working with us and helping us kind of move from beyond this place of like, this is the physical reality, this is what I see, into this is the reality. There's a whole bigger picture. So if you find yourself triggered, <laughs> bless it and thank it because it's helping you shift that reality and expand it into, into, another, into another realm, actually. Um, and I have to say, you know, 13 degrees is followed by 14 degrees, which is a 5. So after we have any of these triggers, any of these breakdowns, we have breakthroughs. And then the revelations come. And then we're like, I see. I see why this happened. There's always a grander purpose. And that's why, if you can remember, everything is working out through, for you through this energy. It will help you. So we have the moon in Capricorn, which is helping us focus even more on the like earthly reality. The moon in Capricorn really has us focusing on what we're bringing in, what we're manifesting, and on our purpose. Why are we here? And so you may again get caught up in that in that trap, in that this is what reality is. But we have a really interesting connection between Venus in Aquarius and Jupiter in Virgo. So Venus in Aquarius, Aquarius energy ties into whole other dimensions, whole other realms of beingness. And Jupiter in Virgo right now, it wants to expand our Virgo experience. It wants us to expand our reality, earth body experience. We have an opportunity with this, with Venus tuning us in, Venus tuning us into a higher level of worth, from this other dimension. But you've got to actually access it and pull it in and embrace it in your physical body. Um, this connection is still also connecting to Uranus in Aries. Uranus in Aries, again, liberating us, tuning us into a higher level, a higher octave of who we are on a vibrational level. And all of this energy is coming and focusing right there on Jupiter in Virgo. It's a yacht. It's the finger of God. It's pointing like, here's your key, here's your key. And we're bringing it into the body. It can't just be up here. It has to be embraced and brought in. And it's something interesting because this brought up for me, um, the energy of just paying attention to the effect of the unconscious on the conscious, on your consciousness, on your body. The unconscious, things we're unconscious of, these energy vibrations out here that we may not be paying attention to really do affect. But the minute you make it conscious, it changes everything. And that's why I want you to go back into that energy. Everything is always working out for me because everything is just shifting in this amazing unique way as we build to this eclipse. Lots of energy at 18 degrees right now. 18 degrees, a degree that combines the energy of your heart, pioneering, leading with your heart. Eight degrees, responsibility, showing up, being willing to be present in your life and take not control, but responsibility. Notice how you're showing up. And then that adds up to a nine, which is a degree of completion, but it's also a degree of owning and following your passion, taking your energy, taking that action, making it physical. So it's a really interesting little connection, roundabout thing going on. I have to say, as I was sitting here trying to do the horoscope, all I could hear was the song, You Spin Me Right Round, Baby Right Round, like a record, <laughs> Baby Right Round, Right Round, over and over and over, <laughs> over and over and over. Um, 
you know, and I just think this is like kind of that the universe is spinning us right round, baby, right rounds, you know, and helping us shift and evolve. We also have the moon connecting to Neptune at nine degrees. So the moon in Capricorn, even though it has that practical level and focused on the reality, Neptune's like, hey, hey, there's so much more. There's so much more. Let it in. Follow your bliss. Follow that action. And we also have Mars, 29 degrees, preparing to enter Sagittarius. Also saying, follow your bliss, honor your passion, honor those desires. And I have to say about that, because, you know, sometimes our desires do include other people. And I think we have to recognize, you know, sometimes no's come from other people. And it doesn't mean that you're on the wrong track. What that means is no is a miss. It's a, it's not a misdirection, it's a redirection, that's the word, a redirection into something that's more fitting for your vibration. So really pay attention to the subtleties as you follow your bliss. Don't just, you know, barge through the boundaries. Mars in Scorpio has a big lesson on honoring boundaries, yourself, your own boundaries, and others. But take those subtle redirections and allow it to help guide you into that place of expanding into what you really, really, really want. Finally, we have Neptune conjunct Ceres at 13 degrees. Ceres, the mother energy, which is helping us rebirth ourselves, which is helping our evolution revolution process. Um, this is cosmic mother energy. So if you're struggling with anything today, call on cosmic mother energy. Call on Mother Mary. Call on Mama Gaia. Call on Aphrodite. Call on, um, who else is really mother energy? Kalima, Kalima energy can help shift that energy. Call on feminine energy to help you show up for yourself in this shift and help you remember that everything's working out for you. So the cards that I pulled for today, the creator, we are creating, we are all creating in this moment. We're co-creating in this moment. How are you showing up in this creation? What reality are you allowing in? And I think this, like, to me, it's like, this is like the idea of reality. It's like, here we are, we think we're kind of stuck here with the cage, but meanwhile, these, these cage uh, vibrations, they're releasing, and we're seeing that there's this other free reality. That's where we all are. We're kind of all, like, finding our wings right now. And the final card is, you got to slow down. Slow down to receive it. Slow down to allow it into your life. So I forgot to look up a roomie today. <laughs> but I'm going to read this one that I just opened up to right here. Don't try to control a wild horse by grabbing its leg. Take hold the neck. Use a bridle. Be sensible. Then ride. There's no need for self-denial. Don't be contemptuous of old obediences. They help. So that's it from Rumi. That's it from me. Book a reading if you'd like more information. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.